from Johns Hopkins University now. More than 106.9 million cases around the world. The doctors have confirmed with at least 27.1 million of those here in this country. And the number of American lives lost now surpassing 468. And Dr. Ashton, we've been talking so much about this, uh, the vaccine rollout, not fast enough. So at the rate we're going, seven months, we would have 300 million people finally vaccinated. That's not good. But we have new research that's talking about uh, uh, getting people vaccinated and a vaccination that would take, that could actually take on any type of mutation of coronavirus. Is that possible? Well, TJ, that's where the research is right now. Just like the goal is to have a universal influenza vaccine, researchers are looking at getting a universal coronavirus vaccine. So let's take a big picture view. Remember what we know and don't know about the coronavirus. Remember, coronaviruses are responsible for 10 to 30 percent of common cold seen worldwide. Some species affect animals, others affect humans. We know that. For some historical context, SARS. SARS 2002 was a coronavirus, then MERS 2012, also a coronavirus. When we had those outbreaks, it sparked vaccine research against those strains. But with the variants, there is now an intense interest in developing a pan coronavirus vaccine. Now, some new data just published research in the journal Science done in mice that were injected with a vaccine containing eight different spike proteins. The mice actually made antibodies to all eight spikes, plus, interestingly, an additional four spikes that were not in the vaccine. So right now, you guys, virologists are hard at work seeing if they can figure out how to develop a vaccine that will work against many different strains of coronavirus. Because if you talk to infectious disease specialists, they say it's not a matter of if there's another pandemic, but when. Wow. All right. Well, good to know they are on top of things. And by the way, Dr. Jen, loving the updo today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Desperate. <laughs> no, no, no. It looks great. All right. We're going to turn now to ABC's Kira Phillips in Washington with our latest headlines. Good afternoon, Kira. Great to see you, Amy. And Jen always looks gorgeous. All eyes on the Capitol for a second day of the historic second impeachment trial of former President Donald Trump. Senators crossing the aisle in yesterday's vote to move forward, confirming the proceedings are constitutional as concerns were raised about the case being laid by the ex-president's legal team. And in the coronavirus emergency, about 10 percent of the U.S. population has now received at least one dose of the vaccine. A new Gallup poll shows more than 71 percent of Americans now say they will take it. And the CDC is out with new guidance that two masks may be better than just one. New findings released today indicate the mask fit matters a lot when it comes to protection against the virus. And the remarkable rescue reported on a deserted island near the Bahamas, the U.S. Coast Guard making the find, dropping food, water and a radio to three Cuban nationals said to be stuck on that island for five weeks. The married couple and another man say they swam there after their boat capsized. The Coasties picked them up and now they're all recovering in Key West. And the bitter, brutal cold across the country. Millions of people enduring sub-zero temperatures in the days ahead as a major ice storm takes aim from Texas to Kentucky. It could cause power outages and dangerous driving. And the new look for an old favorite on the store shelves beginning in June. PepsiCo announcing Aunt Jemima products will be sold under the Pearl Milling Company banner. Now, TJ, you'll remember Aunt Jemima announced redesigns amid protests against systematic racism in the U.S. last summer. However, calls to remove the Aunt Jemima imagery, which has been criticized as an image hearkening back to slavery, were actually made long before the company acquiesced to public pressure last year. So the picture of Aunt Jemima described as a racist stereotype now finally retiring, TJ. Yes, Aunt Jemima, um, Uncle Ben, uh, Mrs. That's Butterworth. Right. Uh, Eskimo Pie, Land of the Lakes, a lot of companies have work to do, and they, some are doing it. So this is the start. All right, Kira Phillips. This is good the time. See good, Kira, Thanks, good to see you. Thank you, as always. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.